Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets, learned to look out for herself. She saw her whole unit die on a coos. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Gotta hand it to Joker, he has a point. A bit overreacting as well, but you are pilot in the ship, so I'll just leave you to it. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so what are we doing here? Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Yeah, I got that loud and clear. He sounds a bit upset. He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. <laughs> All right, you two. You keep at it and... Joker, opinions to yourself, maybe? Maybe. Okay, I need to go and find the... Commander? I will still never get used to this ship. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. Since everyone's got a the captain's in bit of a worry to their minds. Hey, Nihilus. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. You wanna talk? Why? What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. 
you've heard. Sounds beyond beautiful in my opinion. But to be honest, I don't really know. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Nothing's ever safe, neither. Why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. Captain? This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Ah, <sighs> Great. That's just... <sighs> okay, right. So, what exactly is, is going on? Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. A covert pickup? Bria, why the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Oh. Oh. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Sounds like we're all getting a tech upgrade. <sighs> Why did we tell the Council, though? Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. Great. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Evaluate me? Why do I feel like I should be offended for that? <sighs> Why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Whoa, 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 wait, Not what? Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's also why called I put desperation. your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Wait, 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 just F you two, shush, wait, what? You want me to be a spectre? I, uh, why? Oh, why? What? You put my name forward? What? Why? Why? Why would a Turian want a human in the spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. Well, that's nice. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Oh boy. Okay. High nerves. I haven't seen you in a long while. <laughs> Captain? Uh, back me up? I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. Oh, I need great. to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Is he observing or is he going to help with the mission? Because in all honest opinion, I want someone who's going to be able to help me and not just observe. He can do two things at once. It's called multitasking. Oh, great. So... Oh. Okay, I want more information. The Pro Protheans. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. 
Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I mean... I'm still curious of where they went, though. I mean, they can't just vanish out of nowhere. Okay, priorities. Eden Prime. Uh, you mentioned a beacon. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Wrong hands? I grew up with... Hell. So I know exactly what you mean by wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. Oh, that can't be good. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Alright. Low-key? So don't tell Joker then? Y yeah, okay. Right. Alright, Eden Prime. Tell me more. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world. But it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. <laughs> You're waiting for a history jab, aren't you? You just want to get in the history books. All right, fine. Okay, let's do this mission. Let's go get this beacon. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. Oh, great. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Oh, God. Get down! out after that no calm traffic at all just I don't think that's a farming colony There's anymore nothing. reverse and hold the 38.5 neither the jaws report. are twitching 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated that's fantastic. a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. I Grab your gear and meet me. us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Oh, good God. What have I gotten myself into? Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Oh, great. Nihilus. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. 
Okay, he can count on us. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. It did, didn't it? Everywhere. Keep your guard up. What the hell is that? Not. I'm not risking them blowing up in front of my face. Okay. Let's move. Hell, Jenkins, that's what happened. Oh, shit, Jenkins. Jenkins. See that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, ma'am. Damn it! My aim again. I've not done it in a long while. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Just be safe, Nihilus. These things are shooting through shoots. Not Mr. Jury. Think I got them all? Think so. Hayden? I don't like this. Alright, Kaden, she needs our help. I currently need a different weapon. Yeah. The woman? Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. You're welcome. Are you okay? Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? I am, yes. We're on a mission, but are you okay? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. 
The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. I know the feeling. Your unit, though, what happened to them? Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Don't blame yourself, all right? This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. All right, can you take us there? You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. <laughs> you can get all the payback you like. First things first. I need some answers. These Geth. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. What about the beacon? Tell me everything you know about the beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins, and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What about the scientists? What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Let's hope so. What about before the attack? Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. What is he doing? Okay, let's go. Move out! 